uh, in the first 100 days, we have imposed the enhanced community quarantine. And as of today, most of the country actually are in the status called general community quarantine or the modified uh, general community quarantine. What that basically means is that up to 75% of the economy is now allowed to open, except the non-essential uh, schools and those uh, pertaining to leisure. There are two things that we are uh, focusing right now, and there has been a significant progress. The first is to ramp up our testing. And as I mentioned, we have uh, moved from just one lab to 88 labs as of today. Our capacity for testing has been increased to around 70 to 80,000 per day. That means we can test 2 million per month. And uh, our target really is to move from just testing those who are uh, uh, infected or uh, uh, um, uh, suspected to be infected to including workers. So we will do this through poll testing. So that is the first strategy that we have. In fact, the number of cases that you are seeing that is rising is to a large extent also driven by the number of testing that we have done. The second is uh, we have noticed that while the economy is allowed to open up to 75%, the, the public transport system has not gone up as much. So the next priority really is for us to ensure that we can open up as many of the public transport system while ensuring the minimum health standards are maintained. So this is the priority going forward, and the numbers that we are seeing show a uh, uh, quite a good uh, sign of recovery. Yeah, the president will unveil a recovery plan on Monday at his State of the Nation address. What are going to be the key points to get the economy back on track? Uh, thank you, Matt. E, um, well, we have a phased approach to our recovery program. Uh, since uh, March until June, we have focused on the emergency support, and we have provided close to $13 billion uh, to support the uh, health sector and to provide emergency subsidies to the workers and to the informal sector. And uh, this is uh, basically what is uh, holding up the economy as people adjust to this uh, new normal. Now, on Monday, when the Congress resumes, we expect Congress to quickly tackle the second phase, which is a recovery program, which provides further fiscal stimulus as well as capital support to our financial system to allow them to help even more of the uh, businesses that are affected, which will include wholesale banking, uh, provision of credit guarantees, and also support to the smaller banks so that they can reach out to the uh, affected workers and businesses. The third stage, which is uh, pre being prepared right now as we uh, 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 prepare the budget for 2021, is really about resiliency. How do we uh, take advantage of this crisis to provide the needed reforms in public transport, logistics, digital transformation, and even in the healthcare system so that we can uh, maintain this level of resiliency in the uh, days ahead? Now, the most important thing I want to share is that uh, this is a crisis uh, that has not been experienced by anyone. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty, so there needs to be a very phased and adaptive approach, and that is what the Philippine government is taking in our recovery program.